This is Afternoon Sports Slay with the Queen, Micah K. Now, remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game. This is Basketball Wine Wednesdays. Now, Basketball Wine Wednesdays is back in full effect. Yes, all my slayers and slayers, make sure you tap in. All my people that really, really, truly love basketball, my hardcore fans, listen, the Queen is definitely going to be delivering more basketball content. Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification notification bell make sure you are commenting sharing okay letting other people know that it is a queen from detroit that knows her info who is really good at breaking down information and giving you just a great sports analysis okay now we are going to keep it short and sweet to the point today then we're going to get into some you know really really into some real thick juice okay you talking about juice we're talking about that real good juice. Definitely in the next couple of weeks regarding the NBA. Now, let's discuss how the NBA play in time and works. But before we get started, listen, where all my Lakers fans at? Let me know how y'all feeling, okay? How do y'all feel about the Los Angeles Lakers? The defending champs might have to begin, listen, their quest for a repeat in the play in tourney. So it can get real spicy really quickly, especially while waiting for LeBron James to return to full health. Now, some of this information I got from ESPN.com. You know the queen likes to cite her sources, okay? Now, the Lakers won by two points and beat the Knicks yesterday. The Lakers really needed that win, okay? We know all my Lakers fans, all my people that truly love Brian like me, we know they needed that win. So salute to THT, okay? Also, the Lakers have been dealing with a lot of injuries. I'm talking about nonstop. Anthony Davis said, too, I just got that alert, said he would not know his availability for the Rockets game until going through treatment for a strain going Wednesday, okay, in the afternoon, because I'm going to re be releasing this video by this Wednesday evening, okay? Now, also, the information I'm giving out as well, once again, I got it from NBA.com, but you can find this from the athletic yahoo sports espn.com all my people that like to do a lot of uh, research listen you can go see how you know see how you can you know maybe understand the information a little bit better for yourself but the queen is here to deliver the information too maybe you just don't feel like or have the time to look up the information so i am here for you to explain how the nba play in tournament works let's list a few facts okay now, when is the play-in tournament? The State Farm play-in tournament will begin, okay, Tuesday, May 18th, and conclude Friday, May 21st. Listen to this. The teams with the 7th highest and 8th highest winning percentages in each conference will each have two opportunities to win one game to earn a playoff spot. Now, the teams with the ninth highest and 10th highest winning percentages in each conference will each have to will each have to win two consecutive games to earn a playoff spot. OK, so the ninth and 10th have to win two consecutive games. I'm repeating that so you can understand it. Two consecutive games to earn a playoff spot. Now, prior to the start of the 2020 20 2021 season the nba board of governors unanimously approved a proposal to implement a playoff play in tournament on a one-year basis for the 2020 2021 season okay you guys following with me you following me another question how will the play in tournament be structured at the conclusion of the regular season but before the first round of the playoffs the team with the seventh highest okay winning percentage in each conference will host the team with the eighth highest winning percentage in a play-in game the winner of the seven eight game in each conference will earn the number seven seed okay let's get into some other things the team with the ninth highest winning percentage in each conference will host the team with the tenth highest winning percentage in the nine ten game the loser of the seven eight game will host the winner of the nine ten game in a play-in game and the winner of that game in each conference will earn the number eight seed let's get into another question from nba.com what happens to the winners of the play-in tournament the winners of the play-in tournament will receive the seventh and eighth seeded positions 
in each conference. Following the play-in tournament, the NBA playoffs will commence with the traditional 16-team best-of-seven series structure. Now, when do the playoffs start? The NBA playoffs will start on Saturday, May 22nd and conclude no later than July 22nd. Now, Slayers and Slayettes, do you have any questions or concerns? Let me know with the NBA playing tournament. How do you guys feel about it? Tell me. Tell the queen. So from what I'm seeing, a lot of people like it, especially the entertainment and competition factor. Now, I do love the competition factor of it. Now, also pay attention to a tweet from Kendrick Perkins, former NBA player and now sports analyst. Listen to the tweet that what he said and all my slayers and slayettes. Once again, tap in with the queen. How do you feel about this NBA? NBA season, the NBA play-in tournament, and the playoffs. And what team do you think is really going to get the chip, okay? Now, you know who the queen wants to win. If you've been following the queen, you already should know who the queen's favorite player is and who, listen, you should know my team, okay? Case closed. Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. There is so much more great content on the way, and I am definitely going to deliver for you. This is the queen, Micah K, and this is Afternoon Sports Slay. I'm out.